going to put it this way for now. Whoop, 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 whoop. I know I got a soap opera, I thought the acting was good. No, I never have. I was like, those soap opera, they all kind of stayed on until I hate when I fucked up a nail. Or, like, I have to take them off myself. Because then it makes the next set so painful. You know, like, when your nails are burning the whole time? Oh, yeah. That's exactly why I'm going to soap opera. Some people are like to do it. Yeah, I know. Even if it's their work, when you come back, they like, make sure you have them off. It's just crazy, because I feel like it's... If I put them on, I feel like I could be... Oh, that's not really good. Yeah. That ain't fair. What's up, you guys? What's up? So we're doing her soap off. And I'm gonna... What's up, Lily? So I'm gonna show you guys in a second what a soap off is supposed to look like. Still in the soak off hole right now. <coughs> Damn. Thousand. <laughs> no, I'm gonna swallow one freaking hole. <laughs> I'm gonna swallow one hole. Yeah, this time I'm getting all these things in here. Oh, Damn. Get out of the way. Let me check the Duchesne, tell her, bring her ass. Duchesne, bring your behind to the light. That's way to the light. I hate being autocorrected. I hate being autocorrected when you type a word that's right and it puts something completely different. Man, and then when you use the autocorrect, it doesn't. Exactly. I swear to God. <laughs> What's up? What's up, you guys? What's up, you guys? She said, I'm already here, Miss Thing. Girl, please, you wasn't there quick enough. You wasn't there quick enough. Hey. I'm not going I got these from a gas station. I don't usually get these from. And I feel like... Fail. No, they was like hella soft ones. Like. Oh, that's okay. good. She said, love your videos, but you do a acrylic review. I know you love not polish brand, but I heard Joe Beauty is having a 6% sale. I'm not going to lie if they send it to me free. Because when I tell y'all, I really do not. I can, These are the acrylics that I can review for you right now. Because like I said, I don't stray away from what I like. I just don't. I'll be trying to hold a different shit. Not polished because I already know. And I buy collections at a time. So like when I like something, I'll buy every fucking color in there. So, at first I was using, what is that shit called? Glam and Glitz. Hey, Glam and Glitz is ass. But if you're a beginner, they only $5 if you are. So, as a beginner, that's cool. But, oops, expose myself. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I woke up this morning, and I was like, well, this is what we're about to do. This is what we're about to do. Right. Easy up. Man, so glam and glitz, they kind of stuff. They their their colors marble a lot. If you don't know what that means, basically, like I feel like they make their colors with like a white base and then they add pigment. Cause like there's a lot of pink where you put it down, the pink separates. So you will see like white with like pink floating around. And then they're like neon colors do that too. And then I. Matter of fact, I still have hella um, glam and glitz. I, it's in my trunk. I never get rid of it because I'm like, what if? But I'm never using that shit again. So I can do a review on glam and glitz for you. I've been thinking about doing that kind of like to revisit other shit. You have a long day today? Yeah, I do. Hopefully I'll be done by like 9 or 10. So, um, glam and glitz I don't like because it's marbles and I feel like the consistency is kind of thin. Uh, matter of fact, yeah. A lot of my old work on my page, if you go down to the bottom, I was using glam and glitz. They have hella colors, they just don't, they're just not that good. So I would suggest them like practice it. They're good to practice, kind of. Like you can make it work. Um, and then I feel like 
um, they, how can I explain this, like, What I mean by like the color has been like hella watery. Like, damn, that should have really like tough. I don't know. If I had one, I would, I would show you what I'm talking about. But we're just gonna do a fake example, okay? So you know what I'm talking about. Because we're waiting for her to soak in one. I'm gonna use a dark color because sometimes dark colors do more watery. Alright, look. So look, if I get a bead of not polished, and this might also be because like I'm just better now. See how this bead stick here? Glam and glitz kind of don't do that. Like, see how it's like polymerizing? And then like if I wipe it, I'm sorry, it's kind of tough, but it's gonna be like stable. When I see it's glam and glitz. Like I said, it might be more because, like, I'm better now, but even when I improve, still is shy. Glam and Glitch be, like, damn, that's not a good example. Hold on. I know, because it's like, this shit don't do that, so it's hard to make it, like, it's hard to make it it's, Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look, Glam and Glitch be, like, it's too good. Damn, I can't even make this shit be as watery, and, like, my breath is hella wet. Like, look at this. I'm going to show you all. Okay, my brush is very wet. My brush is very wet, okay? It's about to be dripping wet. Glam and glitch is like this. Oh, there you go. Yeah, see? This is how glam and glitch is. It's like, see how it's not as like, I don't want to say thick. It's just, yeah. That's how glam and glitch is. And I just was done. It was like, and so from there, I switched to... <coughs> Oh no, I don't have hella glamour glitch. You know what I have? Nail supply glamour. That was what I moved to next. So, nail supply glamour. He said, ew. Well, shit, that's what we do. <laughs> so, after, after glam and glitch, I moved to nail supply glamour. And I liked nail supply glamour for a while. I found them during COVID when I actually did have no clients, no, no nothing. So, okay, look, you guys, I'm going to show you right now. You see this? Damn, sweating. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, look, this is what a soak off should look like. This is how you know this EMA. See how I can just, I can just rub this shit off of my fingers. It's not sticking hella. Okay, but that's nasty. <laughs> that's what you want, okay? Just so y'all know. Okay. Just so y'all know. So... Yeah, I moved to Glam and Glitch. Glam and Glitch is cool. I mean, damn. Nail Supply Glamour. I'm sorry, guys. You guys don't have to keep that. Nail Supply Glamour. When I first found this, it was like when I had got some EDD money. Finally, after hell of a And I was like, okay, let me get some new colors because I'm tired of Glam and Glitch. I, I didn't like them when I used them. I just, I really didn't like them, even at the beginning. So, yes, we do. We know you don't mess with MMA, sure don't. So, found them, they come from Texas as well. So you gotta wait for shipping and shit. And then, I started off buying like, oh let me just buy one color, like one green, one blue, one red. And then I got it and I liked it. When I tell you I was buying that shit every week until I had probably like 80 colors in there. Right. And then I used that when I first moved here. I used that for a couple of months. But then I started noticing some of the darker colors, they would not actually dry. Like, it's very weird. Like, you'll finish the set, you'll go to file, and the color will just flake off. So I was like, dang, okay. And some colors didn't really marble, but it just, it just wasn't as quality. They might have changed now, because this was like in 2020 and 2021. And then, uh, you can put just these four. Yeah, the other So, again, I was like, damn. And then I stumbled upon Not Polish. I don't even know how. Oh, um, I think if I would watch Sydney Electric on YouTube. And V nailed it. It's probably V nailed it for real. Like, I would watch it when I was bored or whatever. 
and then I noticed they were using that polish. And I was like, huh, let me try it. And then I realized, um, this place in San Jose, um, it's like a random nail supply in San Jose, they were selling nail polish. So I tried it, and I was like, oh, this acts differently, this is different. And that's why I don't switch up, because I've already been through some brands, and I'm just like, mm, I'm okay. And there, there you go, some reviews. <laughs> Hopefully that helps you out. But Glam and Glitz does have like a lot of um glow in the dark colors. They just it's kinda of fun. Like the colors are nice but you can put all of them. Huh? Is the glow stuff on No, actually the glow is cool, but their powders are much more grainier and I feel like I think it's how they how they colors is made, honestly. Like, I feel like they color this, they, they glow powders is made with much more, like, glow pigment, which is, like, glow pigment is hella green. Oh. And then they, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like not polished theirs is, I feel like theirs is, their base is clear with pigment. And I feel like that's better than having white with pigment. So. There you go, girl. That's what I be using.
because it didn't ask someone else to work. Yeah, and honestly, I figured that's what that meant. Man, I've done a three hour soap opera before. What the hell? Yeah. Ooh. Because it's like, the nails were not only hella thick. Oh. Uh, but it's like, man, I don't know what this person, like, I don't know what the hell they used to be in your nails. And but the product was not good either. Yeah. That was just crazy. Because I'm like, I couldn't even say it was in and a That's the crazy part. I'm like, God, I mean. Yeah, that's terrible. Yeah, that is. It's really technically illegal, but it's talk to you, isn't it? Why are you saying that because of what's your name? Oh, no. Yep, that's exactly right. Oh, that's exactly right. Like, that's exactly right. Like, what's the word? Obviously, like, pressure game type shit. Honestly, it's kind of like equivalent to, like, liquid cement. Oh, like, yeah. Like, baby, you know what's up? Yes. Or, like, dental. That's all we're counting. That's nuts. Okay, guys, so here's all the complaints I got. These are some flames. I'm sorry, the lighting is really hard to see. I'm just unpacking some things. Yeah, it is crazy, huh? And people still go to their shop, like. Um. So what, did they not send you some of the stuff you bought? I don't know, they're saying, okay. like, basically, because I got a saver pack, and okay. it's like 1,400 pieces of these oh, circles. Oh, what you're saying, huh? Yeah, so I guess I asked for one in SS12. They don't have that size, so they probably sent me another SS10. Oh. I'm assuming. I got some shimmy and... He said, he said, OMG, you remember the one soap opera where it took a while for you to get to that one time off my thing? Girl, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to start the set in a hot second, guys. I'm just waiting for her, the last little bit of her. I told her to come off. Mmm, y'all see that big body? You guys can't see that. You can barely see that. Those are called tears. <laughs> okay, I think that's all the shape. That's right. SS5. Exactly. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, guys, so I'm taking out these blings. Yes, look how small the pack bling comes. This is a hundred pieces. This little uh, a hundred. Okay. But still, don't let these nail techs fool you and think that they're doing this shit every day. They know. Or don't let them be, tell them you, like, oh, I have to charge a hundred dollars because everything is expensive. Right? So, it's expensive, but what did you say? Yeah. If you use a lot of bling, then you need to replace it, like. That's why you charge people in general, like. Don't let them trick you. I tell you. Uh-uh. I need this last one to come out. Okay. Okay. Every last one. Every last bling. Every last bling. So you guys were about to finish off the rest of her soap off. She got one hand that needs to really. I'm about to show you what a healthy self-off look like, okay? What people nails should look like after you soak them off. Yeah, I'm like, I need this one to be full. That's full for this one. 
Yeah, that's what I need it to do with on. Even this one, it feels so fairly good. But it's okay. I still want some more of that. She said, I get to see you live. Yay. Hey, okay, Shade, what's going on? So, I'm about to check on her soak off again. She said, Thank you so much, Belgium. She's been sitting for about more than a minute or so. About a five. Yes, I have. She said just relaxing this. Hey, how do I get this thing? Let me see if I turn my light down. Is that it? Let me see if I can see. Nope, it sure don't. Oh, what the hell? Okay, honestly, this is just what it's going to be. Okay. Y'all, I've been really trying to like make it not that bright, but I can't. I really kind of can't fix it. Oh, not even no, like, oh. but then it's too dark, and then it's like, it's just, yeah. I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so, you see this? How it just slides right off? That's what you want. Damn, you know what? Make her off. It's make it even worse. Sorry, guys. It'll be different. It'll be different than things. See? Healthy, healthy. Look at her nails. Everything healthy. And usually the thumbs take longer to soak off because like the angle that they put them in. So, yeah. And the rest of this brown. This is about to. I can just, yeah, I just follow it up. Damn. This hand. This is the hand that needs to soak for longer. Oh yeah. Put it on nail too. Yep. See how I just slide off? She said we love seeing healthy stuff off. Yes, we do. If you don't follow me, you better follow me on Instagram. Nails by Pretty Face. I'll be showing literally everything. Every bit of I just let it soak with hot water. Ooh, it smells like somebody made something. Girl, how do you smell that? <laughs> I can always, oh, it smells acid though. <laughs> I can always smell it. Never got nails on. Nope. Okay, it's about to get better because I'm about to put the mat back. You guys are going to be able to see, okay? Okay, see you better. Okay. Back it up. Woo! I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Can I get to the work site and show off? Yeah. You guys see work in the casino. Mm hmm. You know how after you get your nails done, everything's done like this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, you know, medium tanning there. I'll be, I'll be using the milk. Don't ask me. Actually, you could ask me why. I just don't like it. You need to get dressed on the nail? Or? Honestly, I just... Like they look really good. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, it's like, like when you clean them and stuff, they get rusty easy, and then you gotta keep drying it like more. So it's like, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to be on the other one. Okay, so let's see. You want to go in the dark? Y
to be the base, and I'll show you what color it glows. Okay. Because whatever color it glows, you know you'll see it from underneath. Okay. Okay. This one? Yeah. This one. Yeah. Guys, we're gonna do glow in the freaking dark. Oh, that's not even right here. You love glow in the dark over here. Um, I thought I just did a glow white in the dark. Yeah, that's one of the... Yeah, we'll go later. Okay. Glow here. Yeah. So that color is called glow get everybody now, Polly. Of course. Matter of fact, she's about to come this week. Actually, you guys, she had that set on for almost five weeks. She really good. I know. It's always a bummer. You drink it now. Yeah. Really it's, just, it's like, you know, when you mess up something, like when you mess up your car, you yeah. know, so then it's so pretty, pretty no more, it's like nothing. Right. You can break a nail. All the hell's eating now that I have it. Bust it, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't know if you guys can do it. Yeah, I got too hard for something better. Look at how long and ooh, there's a nail. I don't know, that's what I'm excited about. I can't have a nail on me. Usually it's never, I can never grow them out. I have no problem. Not a single hurt nail. Mm, even, the, even the nail that broke. That one on Monday? Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. Friday. So, like, literally just yesterday. Oh, yesterday. 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 Yeah. So, like, and I, that was the only one that two diamonds came off with. They had come off, and I really mixed them all something. Yeah. So, that was why I was like, yeah, I'm surprised, like, my nail stayed. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I'm kind of heavy handed. It's okay, it's okay. Because I got you every time. Mm. No, you know, I don't use There's it. no other. I just use a standing band. You can see. Everything go right. It does a job. It's a medium grit zebra one. You know what was nice about them too? They didn't, they didn't get, uh, they didn't rise from the back. Yes, no, we don't have no lifting. Hell yeah. You know when your uh, hair starts getting caught mm -hmm. or like lift, so then they, when they break, they pull your whole nail forward mm -hmm. and yep. it pulls your sides? Oh. Yeah, we don't have no lifting. No, I don't have a single one lifting at all. <laughs> That's super important. Yes, ma'am. She like to wear our nails, keep them in tight. You have to be paying. Ooh, your nose are cute. They're like a little mocha ombre. I don't know. That little brown I got left. Yeah. Well, that's like that soap, that brown one. Oh, thank you. Yeah. 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 This is my phone. Perfect set with some strippers. I did it up. Oh no. Look at that real good. Mm -hmm. So you guys remember if you do not take the nails down some, it's dangerous to put tips on. Because then they won't be like secured to them. They'll be secured just hanging on the edge and that's not what you want. Yeah. Then if you break a nail. Exactly. Mm -mm. Exactly. I 
Mm-hmm. I had a couple people. I don't know how they do that. Girl, because like once you do it, it feels like it's set. I got a couple girls. One girl, she do an overlay, her nail do this. Like it. Mm-hmm. Because once you put them on, it feels like a, I feel like a full set. Except for when you soak off, it's not nothing under. It's you. You could. You have nails that grow like that, actually. You know who. But I wouldn't suggest doing those junk nails like you don't have to do. Heck no. I pop the charms on, girl, the nails be popping down. <laughs> so, yeah. The bottom is there. Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't know how to do it. Probably won't tell me. Let me know. Because your nails will... Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Your nails will... Like, if you had nails and then, like, get a fill... Mm-hmm. You know, it could be a good one. No, about two sets or something. Mm-hmm. I mean, like two fills, yeah, you know, it could be one. So, we're getting out all the dead skin, all the everything. So, we got a nice base to work with. She's not hurting. Nope. We're not even at 3,000 RPM yet, so that's like very low. Not the lowest you can go, but it's like very low. I know some people say they be using like 9,000. Let me show you what 9,000 RPM sound like. Girl, that's what I be doing, using for the soak off. <laughs> it's true, and they be using like the little metal bit. That's why I be like, oh no. Oh, you got me nervous. So this little brown, we're just going to flatten it out. Basically, um, it's my product, so it's okay that it's there, as long as it's like flat and flush. It's not going to make a difference to the color going over. Okay. Okay. But if it was like on the actual tip where I'm like gluing the tip, I'll try and get it gone even more. That would be Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that way, um, there's no buckling when I glue the tip on. Oh. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You just said, uh, this is 9,000. Yes, I'm serious. People be saying they be using 9,000 all that. I'm like, girl, you're on track. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Everybody else is on the glue. I'm going to play this. Yeah, I'll see this one. I think I brush on glue, but this one dries kind of quickly. Yeah. Yeah, the glue. And now we're going to put her tips on. So you see, side to side. And that's another reason why you want to get rid of some real nails. Because um, it will affect how your tips... Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Jasmine. I was wondering why it was sitting like that. So yeah, see, side wall to side wall. Dang, now I got half a glue on here. That's crazy. Sometimes that happens. She said Rick Flair. What? Girl, you Rick Flair dropped. That is not the same. Go out of touch. You don't look behind. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't we just saying that earlier? Mm-hmm. So when you get to like a certain point of doing nails, you'll just look at people and just know their size, honestly. But, yeah, because there's only so many different types of nails, nail beds, all that shit, so. And then, well, this is her second time coming to me, so. I, I can't even say, oh, after a while, you'll memorize the size. You'll just know, you'll just see and just know. And then based off of like, what one size is, like if this is a four, you're going to assume like, oh, the next one is probably going to be like a four or a three. So you can test it out like, oh, I think it's going to be a four. Okay, that one fits cool. If you're not sure, then do this. Look, oh, let me test the next size. Okay, see? And that one fits even a little bit better. If you like to tell. This one fits kind of just like on the main nail down here. But this one really fits sidewall to sidewall. So just double check, okay? She said that meant drip. And it keeps correcting to drop. Mm. 
Shane Goli. Mm. Goli Yoshi. I heard. Walk it like I talk it. 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 Man. Whenever I do get monetized, there's going to be all these lies. Oh, no, there's no money. Oh, it's all going to be back there. But it's too weird to sit here and just keep going. Oh, I know. I hate how. I didn't know it was making like TikTok, and it kept taking my sound off because there's a fucking song in the background. I'm like, but I can add the song in the background if I do it to the app. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She said, Peaches, I think you need to be the fourth Negro. You're like, I've seen them in concert, too. <laughs> For real? Yeah. Sorry, just so. Yeah, it was. It was Negro and Peaches. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. I was surprised how much Future be hopping around and jumping and I was like, okay, he be getting out there. He seemed really chill, but he be like, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. You know, like, hella hype. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, that concert was really late. And I had a back injury at the time. And I still was out there. Go the next day. And I was like, damn. Oh, I was out there. It was outdoor. It was in Wheatland too. This is like 2017. Oh, okay. I had on like a little dress and some fucking bands or something. You had an exact injury? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was oh. out there twerking. I was like, damn. I should not have done that. Right. Right. Out. But it was worth it. Guys. We're about to do her junk set. So excited. I love you guys know I like junk set. I think I only report one on YouTube so far. And this one's gonna be live, so this one will be even more interesting. But I'd be doing them a lot. <laughs> Actually the one that you showed me is that one I record on YouTube. <laughs> oh girl. Or the white one, I'll see what it's Or the glow, yeah. Walk it like I hate you. Walk it like I... Uh-huh. Walk it like I talk to you. Oh. Okay. Let's go to So this middle finger is a little bit smaller than the other one, so... I'm going to size her down a little bit. And that's normal. Okay, guys. As long as it fits from side wall to side wall, don't worry if it's the same size as the other hand. Right. But sometimes it won't be. Don't, don't. Walk it like I talk. Walk, walk it like I talk. Hey, walk it like I talk. 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 Walk it. Let's go. Oh, this was my song, for real. Walk it like I thought it. Forget that concert? Man, walk it like I thought it. Walk it like I thought it. Mm hmm. Don't, 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 don't. So you see this thing right here, you guys, compared to the other ones? There's, there's like a little whoop whoop. But if you put them all close, you see how they're all straight? But that one look like you want to do something. You got a little whoop whoop. You got a little rotation, but that's okay. Okay, if you rotate it and see, you'll see this is really straight. So. Don't be alarmed, it ain't crooked. I wouldn't do her like that one. I want to give her a quick little kick. First of all, she'll kick my butt. She'll kick my butt, you guys. <laughs> okay, so last time her length was like around here. She wanted to do longer. She wanted to do like regular medium, like yeah. here. So we're going to do just like a more regular medium. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I think I see your baby father. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take my jacket off this heart now. Mm -hmm. It's the heart. Because we're getting so excited to be just again, right? Mm -hmm. So when you guys are like cutting your tips and stuff, just know they may not be like it may look perfect, but by the end you realize like oh shoot, it's not that perfect. Mm -hmm. This just depends on how you measure all that stuff. But all this, you know, just do it with a grain of salt. Like just cut them as close as possible. Measure them as many times as you can. That's how you get them to be mm -hmm. even throughout. Girl, you're saying like you were the one about to be. Yeah, you're funny. Maybe learning. <laughs> and I'm a cross measure to make sure, okay, boom. Just to see, make sure it's just messed up. So, this one. So, we're going to follow. You want to be square again? Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to be square again. She's a square girl. Mm -hmm. She's a square girl, just like I like you. Prophecy. Mm -hmm. Even though this is only a little bit longer, it feels a lot longer. It do. It's not because your fingers are kind of small. Your fingers are like medium small. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She said team square all day. Yep, you already know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have any kind of to get the a long set here to do the tips, the top tips, top tips? Um, the most of how people get is like double tips, and most people don't even get the like as much as you would think. Mm -hmm. So it's really not that many people in real life that really wear like extensions. Honestly, she had a lot of work. I mean, a little, a little bit, a little bit, but you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't text my phone. That is double tip XL. No, girl. Full one tip is XL. Anything after one tip, I consider double XL plus. Yeah, we're gonna get all this in the face. You think you can work? You think we're gonna put you on disability leave with those nails? Yeah. <laughs> Please do. I'll take a vacation. Right? That's your birthday trip early. You guys, her birthday is one day before mine, too. Very gay. Yeah. Crazy. March is gonna be lit, you guys. Mm -hmm. March is gonna be lit with all the sets, all the videos. the rotation so we're just going to follow with caution and care. 
Because you don't want to end up with nothing, no cooking now. For real. Okay. Yeah. I think I did a live yesterday on somebody and yeah, her nail ended up having like a little rotation, so I had to fix one finger and that one ended up slimmer than the other. Well, the nails a little bit, but I was like, girl, it's either your nails gonna look really crooked or one nail like I'm gonna fix it and one nail gonna be a little slim. She's like, no, it's okay. I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry. This is the only way I can fix it on your finger because. Oh, your finger broke. Okay. Oh, y'all know this song. I like mm -hmm. this song. Question. Okay. So this is the color she wants. Not polished, because if not not polished, it's not nothing. I already been told you all. Or nothing because honestly, I don't like it's really no point to be honest. That's why I wear gloves so you don't keep touching the nails, which is interesting because I see a lot of nail tests. They be like, Oh, we're gonna dehydrate to keep it dry, but it's like if you keep touching the nails, um, you're just gonna keep spreading oil. So that's why I feel like all that stuff is pointless because mm, they work the last enough. But so I just feel like, yeah, I don't know. I'm about to be buying hella stuff if I don't eat. I tell you guys, don't be buying hella shit just because nails by, you know, whoever say so. Okay. Head of the game. So hopefully my brush is clean enough, but oh yes I'm not um gonna go for it, okay? I'm 
Yeah, yeah. Every time I do colors like this, my boyfriend, he always be like, oh, those look like candy. Like, oh. <laughs> or popsicles, that's what he'll say. Yeah. Like, that looks like a popsicle, that looks like a candy. That looks like a... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. And he's like, oh, they glow, that's so tight. It's like, you have seen every single side of it. Right. You've seen so much glow nails already. But every time, he act like he's surprised. So. Shout out to my man. Right. Good man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And actually, you guys, I'm uploading a video right now about people applications. But look at y'all. Up close and personal already. So we're looking from all the sides. Make sure we got a nice A cut so she don't snap nothing off. Get rid of that little flooding. Boom, boom. Bam. Stop. 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 Stop.
Stand in front of TV, I knew the moon, period. <laughs> and I was the Beyonce, the oh, Kelly, yeah. and the Michelle. Uh, That's how we'll Yeah, because my aunt is nine years older than me, so she was already like, you know, a teenager oh, yeah. in high school uh -huh. when I was in elementary school, so. Oh, it's for her clothes on, she's not going to. Oh my god, what else? And it's crazy because nobody was even watching me, so I really was just doing it for the fun of my own self. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, 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 you see that? You see how? I, yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. That's me out. So don't let it flood. Yeah, you don't want it to flood, okay? You just want it to place itself. I always wonder if people who do straight tips, because like some people's nail beds just curve downward naturally. Mm -hmm. And because I do curved nails, it kind of just go with it. Like it don't stick out too much. But when you have a straight tip, will it just point, like, you know, like, oh, yeah, point down all the way? I don't know. Now, is that because the tips you buy, they're naturally curved like that, mm -hmm. or made like that? Mm hmm. Yeah, 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 we are touching everything nicely. Okay, this side looks good. This side, from this angle, need a little bit of work. I'm going to do a little bit. Just cut. So far, it's only been an hour for a soak off and a sort of a set. So we're doing pretty well. We're having a really good time, guys. Why is it too long? Hi. No, I think the slot like says two to seven or something. Uh, yeah, it is. It's not going to take that long. Mm -hmm. The vocals on point, as it should be. And I, if it's not, mind your business. Exactly. My life. Yeah, it's my life. <laughs> so I'm live. <lying. laughs> exactly. And lit. How many other nail techs you know give you the vote? Like, come on. Thank you. <laughs> You're right. Thank you so much. I had a client one time. Cause she always be saying like, dang, what song don't you know? And or she'll be like, every time I'd be like, oh, that first song. She's like, every song is your song. <laughs> and she recorded me and put together a freaking slideshow of videos. Of, That's hella funny, like of all the time. Yes, from one appointment. Girl, it was like two minutes long. I was That's like, what do you mean? And I did not notice at all. I was like, wow. Wow. Do you like that though? Yeah. 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 You say you know you're having a party at your nail appointment. You already know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my clients be having me weak, that's why. I got the good client. Mm -hmm. It's always really easy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Never seen the public, it's not always easy. Hell no, I just got cussed out a freaking day ago. She went, girl, why I tell you? She cussed you out. Damn near two minutes before her appointment, she's like, my, my Uber won't be here for 12 minutes. So I told her, look, normally I won't take you, but I got extra time. Let me know by the end of the grace period if the time extension works. Here's the t here's how much it will be, whatever. 
I didn't hear from her, so I was like, okay, fine, cancel the appointment. She's like, uh, I told you I was running late. I'm like, yeah, but you did not let me know that the time extension worked. Like, yeah. And then she was like, oh, dang, I'm so mad I didn't see this. Da, da, da. She's talking about rescheduling, then she's like, wait, you said I could pay a late fee. I'm like, yeah, if you were able to make it, it's already past the time extension. You're still not here anyway. And she's just like, going on and on. And then she's saying, I'm, I'm a scammer and all this. I was like, oh, oh Lord. Oh. She's like, I told you I'm late. And then, like, I already left. And then by the time, like, she was saying, like, oh, I'm pulling up. It was already, like, 45 minutes after her original time. So I was like, ma'am, I couldn't take you even if I wanted to because, like, that's not that. 45 minutes. I didn't say you could come 45 minutes late. She said maybe 20 minutes. Yeah, 20. <laughs> not that late. Yeah, she got all mad at me. Call me a scammer. I'm going to tell everybody that she's scammed. And she's just taking people's money. You don't deserve to do appointment. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know what <sighs> people do be getting mad when they're late to the appointments though. Like, but I mean, who's fault is that? There have been times people will ask for the address like 10 minutes before. I'm already busy doing this. She's like crazy. She still want to be serviced after 45 minutes late. Man, if I'm doing this, you text me. My text is going to be quick. I'll probably just say check the email, whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, they find it one minute later. They still don't show up. They're like, I will be never booking with you again. You sent the email to my trash can. How was I supposed to find it? I'm like, I cannot send an email to the trash. Yeah. You have to put it, your own email to the trash. Like, girl, that is not... Oh, no, you're getting mad. You're like, I just wasted 30 minutes. If you don't see it, then you go look in your trash in case it automatically just gets put there because it gets... Mm -hmm. So it's just like, you know how they just get on the Oh my god. Yes. Yeah, so. Heck yeah, working with the public. Mm. Sometimes it do be crazy. You just gotta laugh about it in the end of it, like. Oh, I know. On uh, Thursday when I was at work by myself, there was this gentleman who came up and he he was there basically to pick up like a jack spot he had on hold. Uh huh. And that like, he didn't have like a proper identification for. So he shows up, he has it. So, you know, I'm by myself for one, the only supervisor, and I'm the only to do this, so it takes it takes a little while. Right. And then I'm still in the process of learning this, that was my first night, the whole thing all by myself. Right. So, um, but it went well. Anyway, so anyway, so I'm doing it, whatever. I go up, and I need some more information from him, and he doesn't really want to give it. And I'm like, well, here, you can take this receipt, and when you feel like giving it to you, come back. Right. Because if I don't understand, so I said, listen, I don't make the rules, I just want to work them. So he did, he gave it to whatever, I deal with that, and he's like, well, how long is this going to be? <laughs> I was like, sir, I'm like, you don't just hand me a piece of paper and I have your money for you. I said, I have to go in the computer, I have to take this out of that, I put it over here, then I have to get this thing for it, they got to follow this, and I got to do that. I said, it might be five, ten minutes. And he's like, and he's like, getting all fucking abby, an asshole, da, 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 whatever. <laughs> and he's like, saying, he's like, well, what the fuck? I said, listen, I tested that to you, don't test that me. You know, I said, I don't have to give you no money. You know, mm -hmm. I'm trying to give you your money, though, so you want it or not? Mm -hmm. And he's like, hold on. I said, five, ten minutes. So he takes off, and I hear his girl going, what the fuck, take it so long. And I just said, yeah, I'm going to back to do what I got to do. Come back up, finish it, and he must take it off somewhere. So when he comes back, I got all ready for him. He's like, hey, uh, so sorry if I was being an asshole, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I apologize. And in my head, I was like, that's right. And I said, I don't understand, man. I said, but we got to take care of you, so hopefully you won't have to deal with this, you know. And right. I said, thank you for apologizing. Right. And so, you know, because if you're going to be an asshole and, like, if they actually apologize, if you don't get an apology from the public all the time. Hell no, they don't be apologizing. Hell no. So I ain't going to be no asshole, but yeah, that's right. I'd be like, okay, you know, thank you, you know. Exactly. Because that's the second time somebody tried to be, like, hella smart with me, and I got an apology. Mm -hmm. So I'm too, I'm too fatigued. That's good. I wish I could be getting an apology. This old, this Asian old man one time, he didn't understand what my cashier was doing, and so I tried to explain to him. And I explained to him, he goes, he like did that rude ass little wave off, uh -huh. you know, and then and then he said, shut up. I said, excuse me. Oh. I said, did you just tell me to shut up? No, no. I said, no. I think you just told me to shut up. I said, I don't think we need to do a transaction. I said, I got to get free. Oh no, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I said, well, thank you. And I said, my cash is back. <laughs> How are we going to tell you to shut up? I know. I said, oh, first of all, and you're not going to do that rude ass wave. That's like when people point and shit. Don't, mm -hmm. don't do that. They're trying to tell you to get, get the hell on. Yeah. You get the hell on. <laughs> For real. Ew. So it'd be like that. Damn, yeah. At least 
dollar to the dollar menu and not a bro no they don't they come in not the they casino. come up once it gets to the um like after four o'clock in the morning to about ooh god day shift is sad so probably about like maybe 11 when people really start coming maybe uh-huh you get a lot of people come in and literally take a half over a ten dollar clock in and you're gonna take your dollar damn is this a they got no teeth right. and no money Dang, she said preach, honey, stand your ground. <laughs> Just say you took it out. Oh, I so Damn. I see all type of shit at the casino. I bet you do. Oh. I used to want to work at the casino. Like when I was at that casino, right? Uh-huh. In uh, Reno? I'd be like, man, like, and we're in the club. You got the girls who are like, basically, like, almost like strippers, like this. That must be fun. That must be what people think when you say you're going to casino. But then when you're actually working, there's some unfun parts. I bet. I would think so, because, you know, people sound like, give me my money. I'm on my damn money. Because you got people who are losing money, money. Mm-hmm. They in there distraught. This one time when I was first, at, when I was a cashier, this was like seven years ago, this lady, she comes out of the gym, right? She comes out and she says, oh my god, oh my god, I lost 20000 And she had, it was money she put in a cap separate for her daughter's wedding. And she blew it all. Oh. I was like, oh, Lord. That's the thing, like, people who are really addicts to gambling, it's like, dang, enough is never enough, like. You know what it is too, because for some people, they lose a lot, and then they get one win, and they're like, oh, I'm going to get it back, I'm going to get it back. Or they lose a lot, and they have to get it back. Or some people, just that one time they won, and they're like, oh, shit. And they keep going and chasing, you know, mm, that hell win again. Hell no, hell no. I'm sorry. I'd be happy when I win $30. I said, oh, I just made my money back. See? Time to get off the exactly. clock. Exactly. Like, I won that 10 on top of that 20 I said, okay, I'm cool. Yep, I have fun. Because I would be thinking, like, this is not going to really happen again, like. That's not how slots work. Like slots do not work that you're about to keep winning. And then you're on the same freaking machine. You're definitely not about to keep winning that jackpot. Yeah. It's on switch machines. People get jackpot slots because they keep putting money in money to the machine over and over. Yeah, I just go to the casino for a nice drink. Hey, you know? Hey, I like people watching when I'm at the casino. You know, I'll be watching people online. You need to watch it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which one are you working? I'm at Hard Rock. Oh, that's right. The new one. Hey girl, hey Gianna, what's up, what's up? Like tonight's past going to be wild. Saturdays are the busiest nights of the week and it's always possible. The so hard rock. Happens. The hard rock cafe. Mm-hmm. 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 In case you ain't know, so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh, you guys, we're almost mm-hmm. done. We're about to begin into the good stuff. Ooh, yep. I see. Mm-hmm. I see. I see. I see. I see. That's crazy. Y'all, the casino be crazy. It's crazy. There's this guy. Oh, he was on him. He was like, he was like on a like, PCP. Oh, damn. They had to like tackle him and we were waiting for the sheriff to come get him and stuff. I was like, oh, Lord. <laughs> The same day, some other guy was like overdosing in a chair. Oh no! Oh yeah, that happens all the time. I'm not even kidding. First of I guess all, I heard I heard that another guest noticed that guy who was like out for a minute and started slapping him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I said that is he fun? 
and it turned out he was in the middle of overdosing. Yeah, and then, yeah. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. I be telling people stories, and people be like, oh, you're clumsy you telling me that? Do I be lying? Listen to these stories. And that's why when I be telling people the stories that I hear, this, these lies is proof, okay? Because I do not be making this stuff up. When I be telling people all these story times no. and telling people, like, look, this is real, okay? When I was a cashier, my first day, some guy had come up, and actually my friend was two guys at the time, too, same committee, he came up to catch a text. And then he goes to say, hey, please help me. These guys are kidnapped me. Like, they're trying to give me the cash a text. You know, da da And they did. And luckily they had security. They actually tried to kidnap him? They actually, they did. They had robbed him. They, they had turned up his house and they brought him to the casino to cash that check. Oh my God. Money. And one of the guys got caught because they were like sitting at some machines like not too far away. One of the guys got caught. It was, I didn't even understand what was going on until the other night when my friend had told me. I said, oh my, I said, that's what was happening all night? That's crazy because they be having them little casino movies and saying people really, I knew it was real. Oh, yeah. Girl, about money. People kill about money. I know they're kidnapping. Oh, yeah. She says, yeah, I ain't losing no money. 20000 I'll be crying while digging my own grave. First of all, I didn't have 20000 to begin with. First of all, so if I ever did, girl, bye. I would not be. No, I'd be living my best life. That's crazy. If it was for a wedding, like, and you know they probably already pre-booked. Her daughter's wedding. Oh, I know. Her, her daughter's kids. Her daughter probably know her mom's sick. Hey, I feel like, look, my name needs to go to the account so I can do all the authorization. Yeah, no, they're definitely healthcare users. Like, at my last casino, I don't know if you remember that story a couple years ago about that um, that young black lady cop who got shot later. No. Okay, well, so this guy rode by on a bike and she was doing, like, some sort of traffic citation or something, he shot and killed her, right? Yeah. And then, you know, then when they found him, whatever, he had killed himself. He was a slot tech I worked with that I rode the shuttle with every morning. Yeah. Yes. And he was a weirdo. He he always wore, like, a trench coat, and he kind of kept himself, was kind of awkward. That's but, crazy. Yeah. She, she said, I think her daughter wanted to fight her mama. I bet. For real. Cause how, you, you and that's why she probably already just owned her mom. She probably didn't even know her mom was saying. She probably already didn't even believe her mom could. Why, <laughs> well? <laughs> she, she probably already knew her mom was sick. Right. Is her mom even playing 20 grand? First of all, is she at slots or tables? Like, uh, that lady said tables. A lot of the... The big lot gamblers. Of the, huh? So a lot of the big gamblers use like a big chunk. Because I've gone to different work at different casinos and see the same people. The big group, there's a big, um, like, Asian group of people, and they play big, and they play at all the casinos. Yeah. They just make their rounds, so they play, they have money. She says, because you lose 20000 towards my wedding, we're going to court. <laughs> <laughs> you got to see Judge Joe. She said, it's over. Damn near. Yeah, that's, I mean, that was it. That's crazy. Because it's like, dang, it is her money, but at the same time. You claim you were saving it for... Uh, just don't right, even tell me. And you had it in a whole other account. Dang, so that means she had a husband. He didn't even know. Hey, you know how many people go to casino and play like that? Hell, oh, I don't know. No, I don't want the receipt. I don't want my... Oh, no, I don't... Oh, but, or there's a couple that play a lot. Together. Oh, where's uh, where's Mr. Where's Miss... Oh, because oh, they don't know I'm down here playing again. Oh, my God. Yeah, like, like that. Yeah. I have it all the time. I would think, like, they always find out. Like, you know how to Maybe make Maybe not it. so much at this casino, because there's a lot of it. <laughs> it's different. Judge Judy about to give me my justice. Hello, Chico. Hello, Chico. Yeah. Cute, you guys. We about to shape her. After this, we about to do the thumb. We about to shape her, and we about to turn into a junk set. We yeah, about to turn into a junk set. Yeah, there was a period of time where hella people were when it first came out. Mm. 
10, especially when I first started using them, because like a lot of other nail tips, I guess they don't really have as much glow in the dark colors. Mm. I That's know. true. I know when my cousin used to go to this one tip, all our tips are like purple and green. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of random. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe those ones stop to or glow the back, I guess. I feel like glow in the dark colors, I try to at least have like one of each, like one pink, one blue, one green. And then over time, that's how I got like multiple of each. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at that, you guys. And I poured just enough more to me. I love when that happens. You can actually want to put more monomer in here, but we're not going to do that. Technically, this is like the bottom of the barrel part but mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll stop them off. Mm -hmm. I'll stop you. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. You know that's funny. It's terrible. You know they're going to need a lot. Mm -hmm. That's like... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, 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 I got a good first place over there, too. On Broadway. Oh, um... There's a couple over there. I can't remember the one I went to. On the side of McDonald's. And that's the side of the street. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I'm talking about the Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't know. They got like three fall places on that same chicken block too. Yeah, and they got like a uh, dim sum house mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. I've never been to that tower. Is it? Oh, it's called Tower Restaurant. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. I've never been there. I've heard like a lot of good things. I've mm -hmm. never been there. I'm trying to oh, forget yeah. about that. Yeah. Are you too? I think it's like an older place, but I think it got renovated like a couple years ago. Yeah, I think it is old. Probably like what, 10 years? Like, uh, 8 years ago it got renovated from mm -hmm. there. I don't know. Damn, mm -hmm. yeah, look at how we do that thumb, James. Mm -hmm. Back to the street. So I'm just making sure everything is tucked in nicely. Mm -hmm. Damn, look at, look at that application. Oh, hold up. <laughs> I think I've done just the same thing. I don't. That's how we, how we both did the same thing. Like, girl, what the hell? I haven't even it. Alright. Okay, well, this is gonna fall off, so it doesn't matter. But. But bam. Yeah, it just ignored it. I don't know what the hell. Is she down here playing in this okay? Yeah, I'm fucking around. In acrylic? I don't know. Good thing it wasn't dry. I'd have been like, girl, I'm not fixing that. I would you do that? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. The nail top will try to heat $10 extra to fix that. I forgot. I'm going to try to keep charging.
because it always... It's a great one. I don't think it's like one of the things. I forget what I'm getting ready. It's not my last girl. It's good. Yeah. Did I get to work? I bought the... Oh, man. Ready to see some fireworks? So you guys know I still use like no more than 3,000 RPM. Cause I feel like this is already good enough. Like everything gets sealed. I can even go slower than this, but. So this is how we prevent lifting by um, making sure your cuticle beads don't flood and overflow and then what's this called? Seal, seal your cuticles really good. But don't hurt nobody, okay? Don't hurt people. So even see how I said this one? It goes with the cuticle but like if you, it's still rounded. But it still just go with what you got. Don't be hurting people doing this, okay? Now, we're gonna make sure everything is in place. Make sure you got a smooth apex. You don't want nothing that's just like a huge ass bump. Humpy Zumpy. You not want a bunch of lumps and bumps everywhere. That ain't killed. That's not killed. We want a smooth look. Where do your homegirl be getting her nails on? What's she got? Um, she do. She asked. Okay, the last time I think she's over here for a second, there's a spot she's been going to for a while. Okay. I think she's out that way. Uh huh. But then that, she, like I said, she's the one who always goes to Why did she say, <coughs> like, I have no idea. I can't. She is lucky. <laughs> or, I don't know, maybe she just lighter handed. I don't know, because she usually can make them last a while, but I just, they don't do enough for me. I don't like to go there if I'm going to get pedicure, so I'm like, Mm. Y'all can fuck these two though. <laughs> Go ahead. I don't mind sitting here in this chair, but you're not gonna be fucking my nails. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna take care of simple enough. That's these guys are awful then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, they deprive these legs for like an hour. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm ever perfect about everything. I don't know if you feel okay, I can't. 
I mean, <laughs> I was there and looked up my nose enough, and then I don't get what I want. Right. They can't do very much, or they act like they can't do very much, and they only have one person who's up with everything who can do something. Right. And they make the nails hella thin, and they always hurt you. And they act like they don't really do it. <laughs> I think that's what makes me mad the most. Okay. Is it the fear? Happen, but you can't be like, oh, are you okay, my bad. No. Like, I know you know you just nicked the shit out of me, right? I know you see my finger bleeding. Bleeding bad. All over the place. Somebody said that she got cut so bad it was a puddle of blood. Ooh. And they was still just like, she was like, uh, I think I should go. They was like, no, 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 no. It's okay. I was like, oh, did they give you a band-aid? She was like, no. I think they put that, like, um, yeah, like when I used to work in the stud truck office. So if we cut animals' nails too short, there's like this stop. I think it's like made of sulfur stuff, mm -hmm. and you just put it on the nail so it's not bleeding. They probably put something on like that on it. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, glue. That's yeah, what they be doing. Glue your damn cut shut. Like, girl, what is this? Mm -hmm. Glue is not safe for my bloodstream. So what type of nails does she get in? Um, she gets them long, like me too. Mm -hmm. Um, her nails are cute. She got her nails done probably yesterday before we had gone out. Mm -hmm. Like they were like light pink. And one was hella cute, I thought, because they had kind of like little um, diamonds all over it. Uh-huh. One was like a pink disco ball kind of. Oh, okay. And I can't remember. I think one was like a purple glitter or something. I'm not sure we get too much, like anything too crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She said, hell no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we don't want to be getting all cut up. We don't go to shop. No, I cannot. I won't. Okay. Okay, what way do you know? Who does good wear? Nothing wrong. Nail cut all day. Man, plus they don't, they don't do y'all soak off. They just... And they fuck your nails up. Man. I've never gone to a nail shop where I didn't get hurt if I got my nails in there. It's just crazy. And then when I used to go, to this like, like when I was young, before I had kids and stuff, and I was working. Uh -huh. I mean, then, I mean, that was back in, how long? <laughs> that was like, in 2010 to like, right. nine. So, I mean, everything was so basic for the majority, you know? Uh -huh. It's only like in the last five years or so that they were really like, popping, popping, and everybody's doing a little bit of all the cool stuff, you know? Uh -huh. Okay, so you guys see when you check out all the cuticle stuff in there and all that, you can see how it just, no color gets um, filed off. That's also why I don't file on hella high, because it will file the color right off, honestly. Especially if you don't, if you're not used to making your cuticle area, um, like, thick enough, like the right thickness, the color will just file off if it's too thin at um, a certain part, like. And it's like you can see through it. Mm, yeah. And then, yeah, like when you're filing around the edges, if it's too thin, like, it's just gonna fall off. That's why I don't do hella, hella, hella small beads. So it could be like hella sturdy. But still, when you file, it'll be okay. Okay. So you got everything. It's really not gonna be too much shaping needed. Got her 
it, we're really just gonna focus on getting all the nails to do the right like like so like the, this pinky is gonna get filed down shorter because it's a little bit long i feel like look good from this way but from the side you might be working with something else you know <laughs> <laughs> so I do not want no humpy dumpy lumpy all that stuff I want to go back to Reno already girl right. I mean look how cute I look oh, oh that's the dress that is cute <laughs> I feel like that was cute I was like yeah the makeup was looking cute that I'm good at that's what you do your makeup like at work oh hell yeah <laughs> the tip is not hella thin and making sure my C curve is still nice. And this right here, it makes the nails like very sharp. Kinda as well. It just brings it together, okay? I don't know. the C curves don't show too much. It will look like it took a chunk out of the nail. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 
I was doing somebody's stiletto the other day. That's what I was so shocked. The shit poked me into my room now. I was like, damn. Ooh, ow, that's hurt too. I'm sorry, hell, dude. What about that one? Yeah. 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 Okay, you guys see that? Boom! Look at this! 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 Everybody on my Instagram heard me that I was messy because I posted that video. Yeah. I did not turn the sound off. <laughs> I had to think about it. I was like, you didn't know that? I do that. Uh -huh. You know you got people watching you messy around. Yep. Don't act like you're not, okay? Sitting in your drawers at home, messy. How oh, someone take your shit watching this yeah. <laughs> Man. At least I'm musty making money, at least. Hey. That's the only good part about it. Yeah. Out of I know, take the tablet. Fucking city. Crisscross applesauce on the toilet for half an hour. I said, dang, what are you doing in there? Right. What are you doing for? <laughs> Because the crisscross applesauce part is still throwing me for a loop. Like, really? Like, I, she must be when she's all done her because she sit on it, but she, she has a tablet on her leg. <laughs> That's crazy. I didn't even know that was possible. I was kind of mad in my head. You think it's possible? But I mean, if I was four, I'd maybe I'd probably yeah. it. But I mean, I'm 30 at Thunder Side. It ain't working. There's no way in hell crisscross on anything. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we gonna even them up, crisp them out. I mean, do y'all see how crispy these are? Come on, people, come on. Oh, my. <coughs> Damn. I just swallowed this. <laughs> Yeah. I'm just fixing a little inconsistent stuff. Put my C curves back. No, I just have it in my head, like, I just have the urge to be singing stuff, like, yeah, like that. <laughs> it's just easy, like, do it, do it, yeah. I really do. Okay, we're going to measure, and now you need to measure, because you want to make sure that both hands are the same, because sometimes, somewhere throughout, things could be a little off. So you can see, y'all seen it, all 10, perfect, all 10. 
So now we need a buffer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I always buff people because see all these scratches? If I put glue, it's gonna sink into it and it's gonna look white just like that. Especially if you're using dark color. Okay, I don't care what nobody tell you. Buff these holes, okay? Plus, it gets all the lower. Mm-hmm. Pieces are good. Sit underneath. Two left, I think. Two left. Two left. Two It's nice to eat, yeah. Oh, my stomach is like... This is what I'm talking to. It's not so good. It's not so Girl, why you want to hurt me like that? <laughs> You guys see underneath the nails is nice and clean. We don't got no acrylic nowhere. Okay, guys, so, let's see. Uh, so we have done a soak off and a whole full set, and it has, what time you got here? Mm -hmm. Two? Mm -hmm. Four twenty. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty, pretty quick, considering we did a whole lot of soak off mm -hmm. and all that stuff, so. Okay, so... Yeah. 
you guys. Just look at them. Just look at them. So beautiful. Let's see how this video is going to be uploaded. I'll stay at 15 minutes. You guys, it took, this is a 10-minute video I'm uploading. It has been taking already two hours. <laughs> but it's okay.
first Valentine's dress set so far. What? I'm surprised. Oh, that's, that's, oh, that's for sure what I'm doing. Yeah, I think I... Because everybody's booked for, like, the week that's coming up. Mm-hmm. Oh, excuse me, guys. This is the right part. Mm -hmm. the fun part. Yeah, we already did the whole rest of the set. Oh, where's my um? Where's my um? Mm-hmm. Cause everybody know I'll be dropping everything. Placement is everything. You said what glue are you using for charms? I just use nail glue. Me a secret glue. I would say it ain't the glue you use. It's really how you use it. Mm. 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 You have to find a place so it fits, like, you see, it's equal with the tip, yeah. but like, yeah. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't like when it's still past the tip. The sides, okay, fine. The tip, like, okay, mm -hmm. girl. Yeah. Now that's what it is. It's going to be the way. It's going to get knocked off, probably. Yeah. I have to get, it's not I think it's so cute on short nails, like when the whole nail is stuck up. Like mm -hmm. It's so cute. Oh, he's doing my other shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. You're gonna stop doing that. Mm -hmm. I think you're gonna stop doing that. Thank you. Oh. 
So pretty much off of glue, like it's a fine line to know when to keep putting glue and when to not. Mm -hmm. That's the silent air. Because at a certain point, too much glue don't dry, but like not enough glue won't hold it down. Right. Like this. Like this one, look underneath the seat. Because I should have fallen off the old glue but I didn't, so. We're going to see. I might have to redo it. Honestly, you just gotta like, you gotta know, like, yeah, cause like these times are all pretty big, but to make them like fit together, you do have to just like know, you gotta just know your supplies, know your times, know your stuff. And certain lengths, it really is just like, girl, we really can only fit one of these big times, or you, I don't know, you, you just finesse. three days later, damn, you gotta work on sealing your stuff, because my shit lasts four weeks. Like, for example, if one of them I know it's taking hell long to dry, I'll just let them know it. I'm gonna be honest. 
It's gonna take this long. If something happens, just let me know because mm -hmm. I might be able to tell. So. Oh, thank you. He said super cheap. Thank you. I'm upset. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was an accident. Mm, that's she said, there's a clear product, Crazy Top, and you can hook it around the cuticles, lifetime change. I'm dying to get it. Well, that's good. I, I feel like regular glue does the job for me. If you feel like you need extra help, then I would say, yeah. It's probably a good investment, but... Like I said, it's really tech make more than anything because I've seen people even use those type of products and yeah, so it's like you have to know how to feel around stuff. But I do know a lot of people use like rhinestone gel and stuff. I, I just feel like for me personally, it's just kind of a waste of time because like I get results like this. So uh-huh. Can you do a video on how to get the right angles and taking pictures? Actually, yeah, that's something that I wanted to do. Um, in the future, so yeah, I definitely will. Yeah. Do I'll do it sooner than later since that's something that I don't realize people have to. Like that's something you guys would want to see, like. This client right now, I will have a video up on cuticle application, so I just suggest you guys um, turn on your notifications if you haven't because it's going to premiere. And I'll have a double upload. Okay, so I did a Valentine's set earlier that I'll do an upload on tonight. Ooh, I love this flower. It's like one of my favorite times. I can't even know why I get it, so I was like, damn. Oh, for real? <laughs> yeah, I thought, I thought yeah, it was like a minute ago. And I would suggest, like, whatever color they choose for their set. Bless you. Yeah. You're welcome. Do, like, coordinating charms. Right. I don't know how to explain it. Like, even if they're giving you a theme, try and stick within the color. She says dedication and love to see it. Thank you. Well, you guys just have to see like a really chunky jump set, so that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Chunky and jumpy. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, I struggle with cuticle application. Thank you. Which monomer do you use? Y'all know I'm a young nail girl. A young nail. He says, do you buff before applying charms? Yeah, I, I always buff, no matter what. If you don't, and you start putting um, glue, it's going to sink all into everything. Like, you're going to be having a bunch of white everywhere, honestly. So, dang, I wish I could show y'all. I feel like I'm satisfied when I see a certain look underneath with the glue. Like, you can't tell what it's pretty much. Like. Yeah. Well, and I kind of want this to be like, more. A little bit more on the angle. I might bring it down. It's on there, how it's good. You're going to take a while to get on there. Perfect. Oh, 
I'm done with that. Basically. Damn, I don't even have no fucking peanut butter. Oh. Valentino powder? Uh, yeah, I knew somebody who used to love that shit. I wasn't a huge, like, fan of it. It could have been, like, the monomer she used with it that I didn't care for. Honestly. So, I just didn't care for it. I kind of, I also was a beginner, but I personally kind of feel like it's a little overhyped. But I've definitely tried it. I just was like, eh. I kind of thought Valentino was going to be what not polished. Like, how I feel about not polished, I thought I was going to give that, um, you said me too. I thought I was going to give that kind of vibe, like, and it kind of didn't. So I was like, eh. But back then, I didn't know about not polished. Huh? It's awesome. But I feel like Valentino is a little bit overhyped. I feel like, this is what I really think. This is my theory. I feel like Valentino works best with Valentino. He said, I'm a not polished young girl, n young nose girl too. Yeah, as you said. I really feel like Valentino works best with Valentino. I feel like young nails work with. Oh, hold up, there's eight people in here. Wow, what's up, y'all? I feel like um, young nails is like more universal. You can use young nails damn near with anybody and everybody. And I feel like not polished is very versatile too. You can use a lot of different monomers with it. Okay, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm picking it up. <laughs> Damn. I knew I specifically bought some more shit. For a for Valentine's Day? Hell yeah. I forgot about it. Hold on. Is this all the way? Uh, okay. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do Hold your phone when recording. Uh, it's this. Uh, dang. I wish. I don't even know the name of it. I got it off Amazon. It looks like my lamp. It's like a crane type recording thing. I had a different one that was like a little bit more flexible and flimsy, but I, I like this better because I, I bump into it less. Honestly. Uh, but yeah, you could Google on Amazon. I want to say I paid like twenty five dollars for it. So, just look on Amazon. And I specifically clicked on pictures that look like a crane. That makes sense. Yeah.
going to do? Thank you. Oh, of course. I don't know, I ain't freaking thinking. Do you shop on Amazon a lot for nail products? Honestly, no. I like to go in stores. Just because the thing about why I don't like shopping online a lot, unless it's maybe for like bling or something like that, is because if you're running out of a product and you're depending online to get it, sometimes it's hard to get it. Or like it's like, damn, now I gotta wait however many days. I used to do that, depend on Amazon a lot, but I realized an emergency situation is not the best. Mm -hmm. Not the best at all. You'd be like, damn, who can I call right quick to? <laughs> Plus, unless you know how to really, like, tell which reviews, because there's a lot of reviews on Amazon where people are like, oh, this don't work, that don't work, but a lot of times it's like, bro, do you even know what you're doing? Mm -hmm. Like, are you even using it right? Like, people will be like, oh, this or that is too big. It doesn't fit, and it's like, girl, you know Girl, it's not that it don't fit, but like you don't know how you don't know what 12 millimeters is. You don't know 12 mm. You was expecting a little thing like this, and fucked around and bought some shit like this. Like that, that ain't Amazon's fault, babe. You don't know what you're doing. You say oh well, yes. So that's you know some stuff you can get away with Amazon, but don't. Also, Amazon be taking certain stuff out of stock sometimes. So if you're depending on that to be your go-to place. You just gotta know like. I mean, it's not, it's just not reliable all the time. Like, I used to get files off of there. My black files, I used to use Canada black files. One day I went to go order, and I was in desperate need of files, too, because I sometimes wait too long. You think that shit was there? Hell no. Hell no. You know how mad I was? Look at you. Yeah, I was hella mad. He was like, damn. Damn. Amazon always ain't the cheapest, too. What are some good buffers that you like? Girl, you know what the nail supply is? Go to the nail supply. For real. Just get some buffers. Like, so keep thinking. I know some people have not, like, licensed nail tech and stuff, so a lot of people depend on online, but if you're a licensed nail tech, go on nail supply. Some nail supplies don't care if you license or not. Or they might ask if you're a student and all that. They just need to be regular buffers. Do not, do not get, um, buffers that are hella sharp and all that. I mean, um, hella thick grit. That's, not, it's not gonna work. Oh, like, it's not gonna smooth anything. So this top coat is kinda already, like, mixed with glue, because I use it. For shit that needs to be glued all the time. So, this, I don't know. I don't even know this brand. They, they changed it from what I used to use, so. I just like to use a thick top coat and go and I seal again. Mm -hmm. It's kind of messy, but it works. For I know they have like all little sealing pins and stuff, but I feel like that stuff is thin. The top coat is thin. I don't like thin top coat. Do you think the 180 buffer from Nail Young Nail is too fine? Honestly, there's no need to buy a Young Nail buffer. They're charging you hella because it says Young Nail. Just buy a regular buffer. Like, the buffers I buy, they're not even categorized by grit. And, like, that's what I'm saying. Literally, you can go on Amazon, go to the nail supplier. Like, don't be buying name brand files and buffers and shit. Like, you're wasting money. Like, not even to sound rude. I'm sorry if I sound rude. But I'm just being real with you. I'm just being real. Like, you see how my buffers look? They just, it's literally just like a fine buffer. Like, buffers are so, they're just, they're just quick to get rid of scratches. So, mm -hmm. I wouldn't say like, oh, this is too fine or that's, I would just say, how do I explain it? 180. Girl, I don't know because the buffers I use, they don't have a grit. They just, they're just fine. Like, I just go by the look of it, basically. So that's what I'm saying. Don't be letting people trick you into thinking like 
say it gotta be a certain way. Cause name brand buffers and files is pointless. He's like, okay, I probably been watching too many YouTube videos. Like the metal files, you can replace the files with. Yeah, but I wouldn't recommend. I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. Because it's not the most sanitary. Because if you cut someone, just because you change the script, the side of the file may still contain blood. So, honestly, I, I tell people stop doing that too. Like, throw away your file. You need to throw away everything that's been used on someone. Because realistically, you're, you're, you're replacing this. This this is what cut people. This on the side. So it's like, yeah. Um, you can replace it and like, oh, I'm just buying new file strips. But just buy, just, just buy files. Like... Yeah, it's like more sanitary. Honestly, in my in my opinion, like you know, do what you feel. But you know, I'm always an advocate for being as sanitary as possible. Okay, I clean the middle in between. Oh, okay, that's good. I suggest clocking it so that way you get the best uh, thing. But then again, you know, I'm not a person that. Which I I feel like as far as doing nails, I feel like I'm pretty old school. Like. I don't really use hella special stuff, like a lot of nail techs now. Because I feel like the basics is the basics, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I always say, do what works for you. I can only tell you what I do or how I feel about certain things. I just feel like certain stuff don't be necessary as people try to make it seem. That's why people are like, oh, you have to spend so much money. It's like, you really do not. You do not listen to them people. You say, yes, I've noticed that with you. I love that about you also. Oh, well, thank you. Girl, because I take way too many clients to be spending excess money. Like, I also tell people, like, they're like, oh, I have a client that wants to do this. I need to go buy the supplies. Girl, if you don't tell them clients to see what you got when you get there, they are not going to be mad. Like, it is not your job. You know, how long did it take you to perfect the application? Well, I've been doing nails for two and a half years. Uh, so, let's say, there you go. I'll say probably, like, last year. So, maybe, like, after a year and a half. But COVID hit during like the beginning of my career, so I couldn't do nails at all. And when I worked in a shop in 2019, I really didn't get that many clients. So like from July to February, it was like kind of slow for me. So I'll say really 2020 is when I really started to actually get clients and practice. So like July 2020. But yeah, don't like stop buying individual supplies for every client. Like that is not, that ain't how that's supposed to go. They're supposed to come to you, they see what do you got, they choose, you know, it's good to keep up on designs, but like, now you're just, you're just wasting money, because it ain't like you can buy, oh, let me just get one heart or one this for just this one person, you gotta buy it, you know, then if they don't even end up wanting it or using it, now you just bought that and no one might even want it at all, and now you just wasted money, so, I do, yeah, I do want to do a video on, like how to use your money wisely as a nail tech because I feel like it's way too many people telling y'all too much bullshit. <laughs> I feel like if I wanted something that specific, I would probably buy the terms and bring them in. Can you do this? And even still, I'd be telling people like to stay away from that because again, like you don't because like cause I love watching your videos, your shape without filing so inspiring. Yes, that would be great. Thank you guys. So the thing is, I've had people try and like, oh, I want to bring this in and use it. They bring it in. It's like, girl, you do not know what eight millimeters is. Like, you're just seeing a picture. You don't even know, like... <laughs> like, the clients do not really be having no idea. Like, 8 millimeters sounds like... Oh, that's not a lot, but, girl, in the nail world, that's on the bigger side. Like, that's why I always tell people, like, look, I have a lot of things in stock. Mm -hmm. So it's best to just be like, what? Just look when you get here. Plus, by then, most people don't even want the same damn nails that they wanted last month. Mm -hmm. Like, they mind change based on what you post sometimes. So. Anyways, that's my two cents. That's my, what they call that? A damn TED Talk? Whatever the hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guys, I'm so tired of seeing people out here telling people being a nail tech is this and that. Like, Stop buying so much shit. Didn't nobody tell you to buy all that. Mm -hmm. You're the one who bought five hundred dollars worth of supplies that nobody even fucking wanted. Like, <laughs> girl, boo hoo. Like, that's your own fault. Stop charging people. Oh, I have bills. Well, that, everybody has bills. Stop charging people a million damn dollars and you don't do so much. You don't. Do, you don't do. You don't do nothing. Like, what the hell? 
got too many damn rules to be talking that much money. Mm -hmm. And then be blaming people that must well, be your own fault. Of course, that ain't for everybody. I'm just saying. It's stuff that don't make sense to me. Right. So you guys can see, we're just feeling around everything. Like I said, it... I can't tell y'all this is the most, like, ideal way, because I know there's, like, feeling things and stuff, but... Like I said, I don't like thin top coat. Especially for this type of stuff. So, yeah, it is a little bit messy. But, the final result always looks right. And they last. Okay, and you go. Yeah, get it deep in there, because you know, my lamp brother. Mm -hmm. You guys, yes, can you just say it louder for the people in the back? You feel me? This kind of looks like a butt. Like a big butt. Like this way. <laughs> or, oh, no, that looks like a pair of titties. This is gross. He's like, mm -hmm. nice. <laughs> yeah, if I just put like a little nipple on it. Some big boob. <laughs> Perfect for me. Right. Man. Just in case anybody asks your bra size, so just you like, know, you see this? Like, yes, it's for them for them. Yeah, this is a visual reputation. No, reputation, representation. There you go. Yeah, it's all, it's all. It's cute, I don't even know I had this in here, man. And you like, you only have one. It's just the bra one. <laughs> oh, yeah. It came in a pack with some other stuff. I was like, hmm, somebody don't want these. Somebody don't want these. I'm surprised that all these... Like, you really don't get this stuff online, right? Sometimes I do, yeah. Oh, okay. But sometimes it's like, you can be out. You can really, anything could be a charm. I was going to say, like, probably dopey, like, the mic will be like that. Mm-hmm. So you got to know, like, materials and tech, like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I like it. Hell yeah. Like, certain stuff work and certain stuff just don't. Like, I remember I had these bling that I had got off of Amazon. Mm -hmm. But everybody that I used it on, it they'll end up popping off. Just this one specific oh, weird. bling. And so I kind of realized, and I remember someone asked me for it. I was like, do I stop using that? Like, I don't use those no more. Because the backing of the bling. I would say it was the backing of that silver backing. Yeah, but like the backing of it, I think it was just. The glue didn't adhere to that particular yeah. backing of that bling. Like normally it's fine, but I think whatever they particularly made it out of, whatever company, I don't even know. Mm -hmm. uh, it just like it just didn't go well. Like it just didn't stick well. Just literally that that one bling. And I'm pretty sure I got that off of Amazon. With Amazon, you can get like bling that's like nice quality. You just have to really look through the reviews. Really you gotta look look at stuff that got videos. Don't rely on pictures because some people don't know how to take pictures for shit. And they don't they don't know how to show off the quality of the bling. So you got like you gotta do like deep searching on Amazon. Peaches. What's up? You guys look like I'm getting ready in here. I was talking about you earlier. I gave you a shout out because you'd be, um, you'd be close to my stuff. <laughs> I was going to call you. Okay, you can take that hand out. I'm pretty sure it's he said, thanks, Peaches. You are gone. You're welcome. Get out of here. Dang, we've only been on this live for what? Like, not even too long. An hour 50? No, no, no. 90 minutes is an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. 150 minutes is like, no, 120 is two hours. So we two and a half hours on here for a soap off. And a junk set. No, no, no. Originally we supposed to be done at seven. We're about to be done at what? Five thirty? Oh, so it's five. Yeah. She got here at two. So five thirty. Yes, that we're about to be done right now. Ooh, what? Yeah, yeah. So let's say you guys, it, when I feel everything, it just it has a certain look. Like once I have a certain look, then I'll be satisfied. So I just keep going. Yeah. 
off the elbow. Yeah, be careful. Oh. Oh. This was my song in high school. I think I was already on my phone for this. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
<laughs> well, no, look at the brand. Oh, oh. That's what I call it. Say Kiki is so funny. Kiki. I'm gonna soak off. I'm gonna soak off. Oh, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna soak off. It's a little funny. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
Okay. No, it's okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Wow. I will. Thank you. You guys look at that. My boyfriend mom came in so close. Okay, guys, this is how I look. I might start recording from this angle because honestly, this is way better with the lighting. And I've been trying to play with my angles, and this is way better. But then, like. But damn, um, this is you're trying to apply. So what if you, oh, you can't do this, so what if yeah. you do this more? We're going to see. I think we need to bring it up closer. Yeah, I think so. Boom. Because then that's good. Okay, yeah. I'm going to start recording. Anyway, guys, that's it. That's all. She's done. She's done. And Bye. the other video is done right now. So take y'all ass over there. It's on and, YouTube. Yeah. Stay on YouTube. Okay.